Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. In the previous episode, we went out to help an armorer or a master builder, I think it was, and he actually gave us some really nice rewards if we weren't level 60. But yeah, the rewards are actually pretty good. They're, they're, uh, it surprises me every time I look at them. But yeah, we decided that we are gonna start completing all of the small side quests. And we started with Monarch's Bluff. And we noticed in the previous episode that we actually... Well, I noticed at the end of the previous episode that there's actually a new quest here with Fiona Murphy. And she has flowers for the air. Now, this is kind of a little backtracking because we already did the main quest line talking about the air and we already kind of know what's going on and we kind of dealt with it. So, kind of interesting what she has to say. Come, seeker. Danger abounds. But your fortune will be grown. The lost banished. Peace found. When the true heir takes the throne. Uh, the true heir is dead. He's lost. Uh, and he's defeated. And the caretaker, I have no idea how she's called. She's now the actual uh, king, I guess. <laughs> because, yeah, it's a throne, so it's a king. Uh, it's queen, queen. Uh, they sound important. Mountain and dale speak the tale. A warrior of wit and renown. That's me. Artorius raised them strong and brave. A true heir for his crown. Okay, so yeah, we've got uh, somebody who loves to rhyme. How do we welcome them? For the air, bring flowers fair, that we may build a path of blooms. May they know their people care, it is them we choose. Okay, choose and blooms. That doesn't really, really rhyme any, anything good, actually. Okay, accept the quest. So we need to go pick flowers, go to... Pint Dragon Landing, the place where Artorius first arrived. And that is 326 meters away on an uncharted landmark. That is interesting. Now, that is something new. Okay, let's head out. I uh, see a shrine in the distance. I guess that's where we kind of need to be. It was encircled with rocks, but now it's kind of Devil's Sea Arc. Landmark charted. Gather Avalon lilies for Arthur's through air. We got a Pendragon boar. <laughs> Dragon boar. Okay, that's, that's sorry, but that's that's funny. <laughs> right, let's collect Avalon lilies, and we need to grab five of these. That's two, three. Kind of want to take a look at the altar itself. Is there anything specific here? Uh, last one. Love the vines. Place the Avalon lilies on Pentragon Shrine. Place bouquet. Okay. Or the bouquet. Oh, it's actually like a little vase with flowers in it. Oh, that looks that looks cool. That actually looks cool. It would be really nice if this would light up. Kind of looks like... Oh yeah, it's a dragon on a stone. With a sword in the stone. As far as I can see it. Okay, interesting. And we need to head back to Fiona in the settlement. The true heir sought to save us once. And now the answer they'll bring. The lost will learn, be forever turned. They'll know them as our one true king. Forever. Does she actually know the story on how the the air is turned? Forever turned. A one true king. Okay, we got a potion uh, pouch for that. 46 coins. And do we get a follow-up? No, there is no follow-up from Fiona. And what is in this pouch? Let's open it up. The common health potion, common mana potion, common regen potion. Actually, pretty good. These come in handy with uh, town boards, guys. So, you don't actually want to throw these away. Because the quests on the town boards usually ask for, like, five of these uh, in a bunch. So, keeping these around, if you actually, like, if your company takes over a settlement, like we did now in Brightwood. And we are 
kind of well were new to this server so brightwood was uh kind of something everybody wanted to own uh phoenix fane but we are working now really hard to actually well get the settlement back up to track like getting everything to level five and such so yeah getting your hands on these uh common quality potions um really comes in handy to complete these quests pretty fast and we do have one more quest here and a note we already read so let's see what this missy here, Edda Conning, actually has to say. Conning, Conning is uh, king in Dutch, by the way. So is this the true heir? Love keeps you warm, but so does wool. Come to me if you ever need something stitched. I've made a fair garment for many a fine folk. Even my darling Eddie. Who isn't back yet? Were you expecting him? Yes. My foolish heart can't help long for my Eddie. He toils too hard in the mines. This is the first time he's missed our anniversary. I'd go to the mines myself, but his favorite turkey is roasting away. <laughs> I can go look for him. <sighs> That'd be lovely. Tell that oaf he has a wife who loves him more than the mines do. And then gently remind him that it's our anniversary today. And I'll be very cross if he doesn't have a gift for me. Oh, is this the notes that we found earlier? From the husband? The love letter? It's possible that this is... Oh, then he's dead. Then he's dead. Right, let's, let's accept the quest. And where do we need to go? 358 meters away. Back to the tiny fin mine so yeah it is possible that the love letter we found is actually from her husband Ooh, that's uh bad news right find the key to edwin's lockbox in sign mines crap i kind of wanted to okay oh, i can still go up there so it is dropped from mob as i you can see doesn't look like it's 100% drop. But we are gonna need to kill a few, so let's make our way up. And let's see how many we need to kill before we can get this drop. Not this one. Oh. And loot music. Do we already know that one? Yeah, we already know that one. Come on, dudes. Black Pick Punisher. And you drop the keepsake key. There we go. Now open Edwin's lockbox and check if there's a gift for Edda. Okay. Let's kill this one. He's probably gonna be annoying me anyway. And collect. Oh, star metal is back. Anniversary gift. So there is. Oh, I thought I saw notes. Yeah, there is a note. We already read it. There's a note here as well. Already read that one as well. All right, let's uh, head back and give her an anniversary gift, I think. I hope it's not his corpse or parts of the cor of his corpse that was in there. Oh, dear. He's not with you. That can only mean... Blast that dumb cop! I told him to stay with me today. But no, he had to go to the mines and pick at another rock. You forgot to say he wrote a letter. He hates writing, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. There will never be another Eddie. I remember the first time he handed me his coat in the rain. Our first... Kiss. Say it. Thank yes. you for bringing me the news. Even if it wasn't what I expected. And now you... You're giving me the codes that is... Maybe... Uh, probably isn't the only thing to remember him by, right? But yeah, dexterity codes. Nine dexterity. Level six. Not bad. Complete the quest. Do we get a follow-up? I don't believe so. And there we go. And that is... All the quests in the settlement. And that means next episode we probably are gonna go 
I don't know. Probably gonna go here and like pick up all three episode, uh, three quests because they probably all are for the Pedrua's farms, right? And then the episode after that, probably like take up all the quests here, which will probably be for Caladan or something like that. We'll have to see, but I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. Let's get a little closer and nicely settled in. If you want to see more of my Let's Play here in New World or any other game I might play on my channel, guys, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.